to my studio. I'm so excited today because I am going to be sharing with you the brand new release from JMC Designs. It's gorgeous. It's so cute. Um, yes, yeah, so this is going to be released next week on Creating Craft on the Let Leone List Show with the lovely Leone Pajal. So I'm so excited. It's so, so cute. Anyway, shall I just show you? Okay, so the first um, stamp set we have is called Flowers and Fluff. Now, this particular stamp set was inspired by seeing a two-day-old alpaca when we were in a sterling animal farm last year. Um, it was so cute. We were watching the mum sort of headbutt it and encourage it to walk, and it was adorable. I always carry a sketchbook with me, so I did a very quick sketch there. As you can see, nothing like the finished <laughs> thing. But this is just where I sort of quickly sketch down ideas and concepts and um, let them go from there. So I'll let you show, see the um, stamp set all stamped out. So we have the gorgeous alpaca or llama or sheep. It could work for multiple things. We've got some very sketchy flowers um, and we've got a clover because when I was researching stuff to do with alpacas to try and put a set together, they ate clover quite a bit. So I popped that in and then just a few little extra bits. Now this thing, this little swirly bit could be a cloud, it could be a funky flower, but I also thought you could use it to add texture um, to your llama as well if you just wanted a little bit of extra fluff. So the next stamp set that we have is called Fluffy Hugs. So this one was inspired by yet another visit um, to the animal farm, um, a different one this time in the leagues. And my daughter took this selfie of her and the alpaca just sort of looked at her. So between seeing that photograph and then the fact that earlier in the year that we saw the baby alpaca, it just maybe made me want to sort of draw um, the two together. So that is what I have done there. So we've got a little girl, which is kind of like my daughter, and a baby alpaca being cuddled. Um, and that was sort of putting together the two occasions. So sometimes it takes an idea to build. So we've went, kind of gone from February to June with this idea building. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of where I came to this one. And then the final stamp set um, is this one here and it's called Sitting Pretty. Now, you'll notice that I've got some um, extra elements in this one here. Um, we have this bit here, which could be, um, you could make a stylized butterfly out of it like that. Um, or what you could do is turn it into a bumblebee. Now, there is a reason for that. When I was on holiday, the same holiday um, that we went to the animal farm where my daughter got the selfie, we went back to Blair Gairy where my in-laws stay for a couple of days and we went down the high street. There was a charity shop that had an alpaca dressed up as a bumblebee. Now that just fully suited my um, whimsy, my love of whimsy and I really wanted to do a bumblebee um, alpaca but Obviously, when you're providing stamps for people, it would be quite niche. You would only get one use for it. So I tried to work about another way I could do it. And that's why we have these, these extra. So we've got this here and then these two bits here, which you can help to build your own bumblebee alpaca if you want. If you don't and you want to be sensible, unlike myself, we can just use them um, like this. Now, the other thing to point out is this stamp set has this long stamp here and it has been drawn straight, but you can flex it slightly. So it's a good thing to remember with, let me just grab a stamp set out, with your um, stamps is that with them being photopolymer, you do have an element of flex. So I drew it straight, but that is so you can, if you want, still create that sort of like, I think I was thinking of like a pom-pom border or pom-pom um, bunting, something along those lines. Let me just grab a spare bit of card. So you can, if you want, just wiggle your stamp. It doesn't have to be straight. 
and that is that there or you could kind of continue that and make a big long border that actually when i've turned it that way looks like a whole pile of tiny trees <laughs> so yeah there's it's one of those little stamps but there is a lot you can do with it now you will have noticed if i bring in and this was del a deliberate choice if i bring all of these in we have like this sort of um, silhouette and sketch. We've got the circles, we've got the flowers and we've got the hearts. We've also got sort of sketchy florals here and then we've got this little dotty pattern and this little heart pattern. These are small stamps on the set but they build really, really nice backgrounds really quickly. So I'm just gonna show you a couple of backgrounds. This is a journal that I have, um, it's a Dina Wakely one, and it's one that I only ever seem to do backgrounds in. Um, <laughs> I seem to do mop-ups and I've never done anything with it. So this was a mop-up that was in my book and I've just added some of those circles and hearts. I've added the word pretty and some um, love hearts there. So I will be turning all of these into artworks in the next video. So the same with this one here. This was a mop-up page that I already had and I've used this long swirly stamp here. This sort of long grass one here. Um, just in the corners there and we have got some of the flowers and then some of the dots in blue. So I've put, put that together really, really quickly. I think I did a third page. As I said, this is a book of backgrounds. <laughs> So this was a very pale, mottled -y sort of background. Again, I've used the circle stamps there and the sketchy flowers. And that is just to give you an idea of these, how these small stamps have been designed that you can very quickly um, create a coordinating background. So, so this is the complete collection altogether. I do hope you will join me in the next video that should be out either tomorrow or the day after where we will create some things with these gorgeous stamps. These will be released on Create and Craft on Wednesday the 26th of April and the lovely Leonie Pajol will be demonstrating those. So if you want details of how to watch that um, and any more details, all of that will be in the description box below. But until then, we'll see you soon.